Okay, so the content warnings from the beginning have changed. And they make me even more nervous than before. Hi everyone, I'm Katie, and I'm playing a game called Scarlet Hollow. Developed by Black Tabby Games. And this is gonna be the beginning of episode 3. And I'm nervous! <laughs> Sunshine filters in through the dusty windows of the estate as the dull aches of last night's activities throb in and out of focus. You manage to survive a second night in the town of Scarlet Hollow. As you pull yourself out of bed, you can feel the soot and grime of the shore mines still stuck to your skin. Take a shower, start your day without showering. Of course I'm gonna take a shower. Even though... <coughs> <laughs> Tabby, I think you need new shower curtains. We should get new shower curtains for Tabby. You step into the guest bathroom and into the shower. The water is hot and, surprisingly enough, clean. As steam fills your lungs and soot washes down the train, you... Think about Rosalina's shattered leg and the image of a foot barely still attached to her body. Think about Duke and the image of him lying there slumped against a tree with half his head blown off. Scrub feverishly trying to escape the memories from your skin as if they are part of the dirt that coats you. Think about Sibyl's warning, the worst is yet to come. Think about Wayne and wonder how many times He's watched you unseen. Think about someone special. Think about finally being out of this hellhole and safe in your own bed. What would my character think? I'm gonna think about Sibyl's warning. You think about Sibyl's warning. The worst is yet to come. You're done here. You're done here. You turn off the faucet and try yourself off. Time to start your day. Check on Dustin! Look out! The window, check the closet, message your group chat with Stella and Kanika. Text Stella, text Kanika, head downstairs. I'm gonna check on the stain. <gasps> what is this? Oh my goodness! Is that your friend? There are two of them now! Morning Dustin, who's your friend? I had a rough night, can you console me? That's a bit... I don't know. Selfish? It feels like a bit selfish option. I've gotta go by, close the drawer. Morning, Dustin. Who's your friend? Her name, Mom. She come to visit. <gasps> it's Dustin's mom! This is precious and amazing and I love it! Oh no, now I need to figure out what kind of voice Dustin's mom is gonna have. I'm gonna go with my grandma voice. Ah, Dustin, mom. Gotta stay with Dustin until a glass house empty. Glass house empty. Glass house. There's only one glass house, and that is the one in our yard. Are you talking about our 
greenhouse. Dustin says, you not dangerous. Dustin is fool. All humans dangerous. No, he's not. Mom not understand Dustin. <laughs> Even opossums have family troubles. <sighs> what happened to your glass house? I had a rough night. Um, I'm gonna ask about the glass house. What happened to your glass house? As whole squatter move in, kick Dustin mom out. Squatter? Who is the squatter and... We are talking about the greenhouse. Someone living in there? What? Squatter tried to eat mom. Squatter evil. Squatter may be asshole, <laughs> but squatter not evil. It just tried to survive, just like all creature. <laughs> These two. <gasps> Does they still have much to learn? Um. I'm not gonna ask Dustin to console me. He has his mom here visiting him, and um, I'm gonna say I've gotta go. Bye. Okay. Oh my god, take how cute they both are. That's that. <sighs> I'm gonna check the closet again. I don't know if I would notice if something would have changed, but... Every time you see that door, your heart skips a beat. It hasn't moved, right? Totally hasn't moved, right? <laughs> Turn back. That's enough of this closet. You turn back to the guest room. Wow, I guess we're gonna look out the window. You hold your breath and approach the bedroom window. After finding that boot print and viscera in the garden yesterday, you can't help but anticipate something staring back at you. Okay. And these are the worst moments when you're expecting something to be there and you cannot see it and it still might be there. I don't know. Yeah, um, unless the statue has changed, then yeah, nothing has changed. It's the same view. Turn back. You turn back to the guest room. Um, I'm gonna message to the group chat with Stella and Kanika because our departure yesterday with Tabitha was very um, hasty and didn't end in best possible terms, so I will message them both. You pull out your phone and open up your group chat with Stella and Kanika. Morning, how are you guys holding up? Last night was terrible, what's the game plan? Can't wait to ghost bus tonight. I get to meet Reese today. <laughs> Send a photo of a pained old man. I would really love to send a photo and not use any words but I'm gonna ask how they are holding up morning how are you guys holding up it'll probably be a bit before you get a response and I'm quickly just gonna take a look at the room if I notice anything weird or that anything has changed. No, I don't 
notice. Are there more boxes than there were before? I don't know. I'm just imagining things again. Let's head downstairs. You've done everything you wanted to up here. It's time to start your day. Oh. What's going on in here? Let's take a look at the scenery once more. You enter the kitchen to find your cousin in the midst of devouring a pint of banana chocolate junk. She isn't alone. Mmm, banana chocolate junk. Mmm. Fru Fru glares at you from her usual spot on the counter as a red-headed woman busies herself trying to tidy as best she can. Vile woman, destroying the natural order of my kitchen. Tabitha's eyes dart to the corner of the room, almost as if she's ashamed of being caught in the act of stress eating ice cream for breakfast. It's totally fine. No worries, Tabby. Bonjour, Fofu. Offer the red haired woman your boiled peanuts. <laughs> Um, hello, hi, I'm Katie. Oh, we are having ice cream for breakfast. Any updates on Rosalina? Hey, Tabitha, how is it going? Hey, Yakas, how is it hanging? Stare in silence. <clears throat> in real life, I'm the kind of person who creates all the pets first. And they usually come to create me first. So, what the heck, I'm gonna do this. Bonjour, Fru Fru. Uh, bonjour, sacré bleu. Do not think you can just bonjour me. Just because I slept at the foot of your bed last night, I still despise you. I know that, sweetie, I know. Three humans at once? This is a point. Your stink will linger here for hours. How am I to bear it? I see. Talking to my cat again. Are you sure you didn't get hit on the head last night? Another character with another voice. I'm gonna make it practical this time. You don't say good morning to your pets. I always make sure to talk to my farm cats and alpaca like they're people. You got farm cats and alpacas? <gasps> Wait, alpacas. We saw alpacas in the... Was it in the end cutscenes of chapter one? There were alpacas and something stalking them. <sighs> to me, they kind of are. Offer the red-haired woman your boiled peanuts. Um, hello. I'm hi. I'm Katie. And here were the same options. Yeah. Mm. I would so much love to offer her my boiled peanuts. Should I? I'm gonna say hi. I'm Katie. I'm gonna be boring. Hi, I'm Katie. Good morning, I'm Janie. Just here to do my little wiggly cleaning. Whatever cleaning Miss Tabitha will let me do, at least. I could have this place looking brand new, you know. Don't go making any big renovations or moving anything around. I like knowing where my stuff is. Okie dokie. It's so nice to finally meet you, Katie. I mean, I guess I did meet you on one day when you popped into the diner. Oh, she was there. My Daphne, yeah. There were so many people there. Janie. But seeing someone somewhere and meeting them face to face are two completely different things, I suppose. Oh, Jenny seems nice. I... it's... 
Thanks remained silent. Thanks? All I'm trying to say is that it's wonderful to finally actually meet you, and I'm so happy part of the family is here to keep me Tabitha. What with everything that's... Janie. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Tabitha. Am I being too much again? Tabitha crumbles in acknowledgement. Tabby let people talk. Mm, these are the same options I already read. I guess now I can offer my boiled peanuts. You hold out your boiled peanuts as an offering to Janie. Thank you so much for the generous offer, sweetie, but I'm afraid I'll have to pass. I had a really bad experience with boiled peanuts once in the summer of uh, 17? Let me think. No, 16. No, it was definitely 17. Anyway, my husband and Tulip and I were on this road trip to Blowing Rock and... Blowing Rock... That was mentioned in the cup, which was in the cupboard. And is Tulip your child? Katie, where did you even get those things? <laughs> Any updates on Rosalina? Yeah, they had to take her food. <gasps> no! no! Oh my god! No! I'm in sure she lost her boots. Fuck! Oh. She's lucky that's all they had to take. What a voice of empathy you are, Tabitha. Tabitha takes one last spoonful of ice cream, then discards the empty container, turning to you with her trademark scowl. Let's get going. I've got an errand to run in town, and every time I've left you here alone, something terrible's wound up happening. So you're coming with me. Okay... Hold on, you can't just tell me Rosalina lost their food and move on like nothing happened. They had to take that little girl's food? Jesus, Tabitha. You're not mincing words. Uh, lie option. I'll be out there in a couple of minutes. Gotta wrap up my morning routine. Yay, cousin bonding time. Alright, let's go. But, but I haven't had breakfast. You can't just take away my freedom like that. I don't need a babysitter. Remain silent. I'm gonna choose the first option. Hold on. You can't just tell me that Rosalina lost a foot and move on from that like nothing happened. Just because something terrible happened to someone, it doesn't mean that life doesn't go on. Life has to go on. And let me assure you that what happened to that poor girl weighs heavily on my mind. That kid was brave. And if it were up to me, I would have dragged her out of there and hoped for the best with those other two. Well, it wasn't up to you. I made a choice there. I guess I bear the consequences of that choice. But I really was afraid that those other two kids would have died. Now, shall we go, or would you rather keep bombarding me with guilt for something I personally begged you not to do? She's upset. She, her mother has died. She has funeral coming up, and she needs to run the mine by herself and this estate. And 
And I don't know what the heck is going on with Wayne. I mean, we heard rumors that they were, they had been dating or something, but now it feels like he's also stalking us somehow. And something happened to him, so I don't know what the heck is going on in there. And then these uh, conversation options I read already. I'm gonna say... Alright, let's go. It'll be good to get to know each other a little better. What? Really? Janie, lock up when you leave, please. And don't go rearranging anything. Oh no. As you are ready to leave, Janie approaches from the far side of the kitchen. Davita remains between the two of you, impatiently tapping her foot. I just want to see, like, look at all the details here and the hair with the face, everything's so beautiful. Oh, Katie, before you go, I heard about what happened last night. I mean, I heard about it before Miss Tabitha mentioned it just now. And then I heard it again. I just wanted to say that I'm so sorry you got caught up in that. I'll be praying for Oscar and poor little Rosalina. They're such sweethearts. Couldn't have happened to nicer people. Hmm. Thanks, last night was a lot. You should get out of town. <laughs> I'd love to chat, but I hate to interrupt your work. I'm in town for, for another few days, though. If you get time. Sorry, Tabitha, so mean to you. Have you seen any weird creatures around town? Do you know anything about a guy named Wayne? Have you seen anyone prowling around the estate? It's been nice meeting you, but I've got a bounce. Tapita's food tapping is driving me insane. Bye, I should go, turn and leave. Mm. I'm gonna ask this one. I know it's a bit straightforward, but... Have you seen anyone prowling around the estate? I'm going to stop the two of you right there. Katie, I'm busy and not in the mood to stand around waiting while you play Nancy Drew with my cleaning lady right in front of me. We're leaving. Bye, Janie. Alrighty then, be safe out there, you two. Oh, I would have liked to say that it would be nice to talk with her some more. Tabitha practi practically drags you from the estate, one hand clasped firmly around your arm. She continues to drag you all the way into her car and from there into town. The ride to town is uneventful, your cousin unsurprisingly more focused on the road than on making conversation. All right, we're just popping into the general store for a few minutes. Explore. What are we doing at the general store? Should we be solving a? Shouldn't we be solving a mystery right now? After everything that's happened the past two days, it's nice to just go on an errand, say nothing. Let's be casual and try to be kind. After everything that's happened the past two days, it's nice to just go on an errand. Exactly. You and Tabitha turn as the door to the general store bursts open. A flustered Kanika exits, shouting behind her. Fine, okay, keep cuddling him. Keep letting him get away with stuff you never would have left me so much 
us think about. I'm sick of carrying this family. Kanika storms off, the door slowly drifting shut behind her. Ugh, other people and their drama. If more people get things to themselves, they'd be a lot happier. Like you? Are you happy? Really? Or are you just barely surviving? <sighs> Tabby. I'm surprised to see her let loose like that. I'm glad she's finally letting loose. Maybe her family will stop taking advantage of her. Poor Kanika's really going through it, huh? Yeah, I've never been one for public displays like that. I think it's healthy to express yourself. Good for her, honestly. I'd be losing it if Miles were my brother. Have I ever told you that you scare me? I hope there weren't any customers in there. Say nothing. I really love how many conversation options we have here. All of these options feel very... What is the word I'm searching for? Like genuine? Authentic? Is her family taking advantage of her? I mean, it feels like they are taking advantage of her a bit because she's kind of trying to fill the place her dad left behind when he died, but... Do we know how her father died? I can't for the life of me remember if we learned how he died. If you remember, please let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate that. If it has been mentioned here so far in the story. I think it's healthy to express yourself. Healthy is a word a lot of people use to justify weakness and self-sabotage. It's a lie. If she actually cared about herself, she'd leave this place far behind and never come back. Actually cared about herself, is that so black and white as you're saying it is? I mean, it's not just about her caring about herself. She has her family and she's trying to take care of her family and also to take care of this entire town. I mean, Tabitha must know that if the general store collapses, this town is gone. <laughs> I mean, there won't be any general store here. Adding, I bet it's not that easy to order supplies here. The place being in such a remote location. At least that is what I understood from the beginning when there was like bus coming here once in a week or something like that and yeah so what you think kanika is weak and self-sabotages herself we're burning daylight come on already 